The star was hospitalized for days last month with a potentially a flu he picked up during his run in Panto. It was the latest brush with death that the telly favorite has survived in recent years. Ken, who played better WE supermarket boss Reg Holdsworth, has endured a burst appendix, prostate cancer, angina and has had a quadruple heart bypass. The 76-year-old, who is now recovering well, joked, I know they say cats have nine lives, but I am feline fine as I may well be part pussycat. The run-in with the flu was looking like the final nail in the coffin. I can honestly say I've never felt as close to the final curtain as when I collapsed after being helped off stage at the Panto in York. Ken was playing an ugly sister in Cinderella when the illness struck during his first evening performance. Ken said, I had the continual sniffles and a hacking cough for the two weeks of rehearsals and then I had a vicious nosebleed just as the show started proper. It was in the space of five minutes in the second show in front of an aunt that I was struck down. I suddenly felt dizzy and fuzzy and couldn't remember any of the lines. I managed to see out the first act, but it was after the interlude that I was really stricken. I had to be helped off the stage, but I kept on going as we had children in the aunts. It was when I was backstage and on a seat that I collapsed and ended up on the floor. I had never been that seriously ill ever before. Ken went on. I was taken by ambulance to the hospital in New York, where I was literally in a daze for three days. He added, open heart, surgery, the cancer scare, everything else in the past 75 years was nothing as bad as that bout of flu, I am sure if it got a grip it could people. It was that bad. Ken had a prostate cancer scare in 2007 and was told he needed heart bypass surgery in 2014. Now back home and convalescing in Chorley, Lanx, Ken is still feeling frail from the illness. But he is able to laugh about his miracle Morley recoveries. The title of his latest autobiography is From Here to Infirmity. Ken added, I'd started working on the new book last summer as I wanted to move my initial life story knowledge is power forward more than 20 years later. I have been blessed to have had some sensational scrapes with death, but the NHS has pulled me back from the brink every time. I've also appeared in scores of programs and TV adverts after Coronation Street, so I felt I had a story well worth telling once again. I still cannot go out without being recognized as Reg Holdesworth from Coronation Street's Better Bewey. That just shows how well loved the program is, as I left 24 years ago. I know I have been exceedingly lucky to dodge the Grim Reaper as many times as I have. In 2015, Ken was kicked out of the celebrity Big Brother house, with £100,000 deducted from his fee, after using the word Negro in a conversation about former boxer Frank Bruno. He apologized unreservedly about his behavior and maintained he was not racist, but had just used an outdated expression, 